So about three weeks ago, I made the switch from using all Adobe products to using Affinity Photo. Now, I was a Photoshop guru. That's what it was. Then I found out about a program called Affinity Photo, and there are quite a few things that made me switch over and not want to go back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get right into it. Already, when you first go to the Affinity website, it looks so professional, so user-friendly, and basically it just looks more creative and... I, I don't know, just more appealing than Photoshop and Adobe's website does. Now this is no hard feelings towards Adobe, it's just a personal preference and I find that the reason a lot of people do use Affinity Photo more than Photoshop is because of the creativity and the more uniqueness and user friendly look of just the site and the program itself. But before we go into the program, I did want to show you the website because when you go to the website, like I said, everything looks so cool, so creative. Um, and it says right here this is the most important part and one of the most important things that really drew me into affinity other than like the look of the actual program it's that it's no subscription it's only fifty dollars um for photoshop and lightroom the bundle it is approximately like ten dollars a month and if you want every adobe program it's fifty dollars a month this is one time fee of fifty dollars and the conversion over from adobe Photoshop to Affinity is actually quite easy because you can open PSDs, Photoshop brushes, Photoshop actions, and most Photoshop plugins in Affinity. Um, it's very easy and it's a lot cheaper. It'll save you a lot more money in the long run. So it says a standout choice per for professionals. I will link the official website in the description below, obviously, if you want to purchase it or if you want to just look through everything. And it has so many unique like features that you can do with the program there's raw editing hdr merge panorama focus stacking professional retouching batch processing this was important like i just said psd editing so that way if you want to make the switch from photoshop to affinity you are all set nothing needs to be fixed digital painting so it is a two-in-one um it's not just a photo editor um it does have the drawing feature in the digital art feature like photoshop does 360 image editing multi-layered compositions and the layer thing does transfer over to uh, affinity like it did in Photoshop so you can have layers and the layers in your PSDs will also transfer over into affinity and the website really does give you a glimpse into the features that affinity has and it only shows a small few of them I haven't even discovered the program completely yet um, a lot of people who have been working with the program for a while still haven't discovered every single thing that you can do with the program just this is the list of all of the things that it can do and it's still not like listing everything so if you want to buy affinity just go to this buy for windows and it is like i said 49.99 um you get a free macro pack and subtotal comes out 49.99 there is a tax which i believe my total purchase ended up coming out to like 53.99 so depending on where you live and how much the tax is in your country i believe that will affect the tax Let's jump into affinity right now and we will see what everything looks like as far as the interface in the program. So when you first load Affinity up, this is the screen you will be faced with. Some of my toolbars are a little off because I have customized them to be on the location of my screen where I would like them to be. So like I said, the graphics, the creativity, the user interface is much different from Photoshop and it looks so much better. And you will even see what I mean once I click out of this little loading screen thing. One thing that I did want to mention, however, is that if you are interested in getting Affinity Photo for your iPad, you can as well. Same user interface, obviously it's easier, you can draw right on the screen. It's also an Affinity Designer program, which is for vector stuff. Very, very similar to Adobe Illustrator. It's basically the same program, same $50 fee as Photo, and you have Adobe Illustrator, but with Affinity. The last thing that I wanted to mention is that the, there is an Affinity Photo workbook that you can see right here. And basically, it's just a, a workbook to tell you how to use the program. And it's not just how to use the program. It's not like a simple like, oh, this is this button, this is that button. It gives you like tutorials on specific editing things like portrait retouching and panoramas. And it's a very large book. I actually do have it. It's a nice solid 488 pages, not too heavy, not too light. But let's go back to Affinity and click on a new document. And we will go through basically small little things that... I love about the program 
that made me switch over from Photoshop. So the first thing I want to bring up that I keep bringing up is the more appealing UI, the user interface. And everything just looks so much more cleaner. It's not as dull as Photoshop is. I just, the aesthetic of it, and I hate to use that word in a trendy way, but basically the overall aesthetic of this program just really is what made me switch over from Photoshop to Affinity. So it's much more in depth. There's much more templates here for um, the document size, the color, the dimensions, the margins, all that stuff. I just go with 1920 by 1080 for all of my projects and documents, and then I will crop from there. Now, my friends, lovelies, you probably notice what I meant by more colorful and more creative as far as the UI goes just by looking at this screen right here. Let's go to the toolbar over here. Everything is in color. It's not all black and gray scaled like it is in Photoshop. Same tools. Some tools even have more features. For example, the shape tools. Basically what I'm trying to say is that if you go to the rectangle tool, you have all of these other shape options without having to add plugins and draw the shapes yourself. And I found that really helpful because when I'm doing graphics, I sometimes and more often than not need different kinds of shapes and having to either draw them myself or get plugins for them to get very tedious and annoying. Another thing that I liked simply about the program is that if you push down on your scroll wheel, you can go in and out similarly to how you can in Paint Tool Sci, which wasn't possible, I don't believe, in Photoshop without a plugin. And I really like being able to zoom in this sort of way. It makes the document so much easier to use and so much easier to access and see different parts of it. Also, there's a navigator right here. And it's also like in Paint Tool Sci how it shows you a preview. So if you look over in this corner right here while I draw, and then if you go down to your navigator, it will show you the preview of it. Now, all the previews of your photos that you are editing do show in a solid 60 frames per second, so it's very real time, and that is very nice because I like having a high quality preview, not just on my document. That allows me to see my photo in its prime and in its glory. <laughs> um, now, there is a couple different things that Affinity has on its toolbar um, over here. There's a swatch tool and there's a brush tool. And like I said, you can import all of your brushes from Photoshop into Affinity Photo, which is perfect. Then there's adjustments. Now this is basically the same thing as Photoshop, but it's easily here so that you can click your layer right away and then go to adjustments. Same kind of different adjustment layers and effects that you have in Photoshop, levels, white balance, Saturation, recolor, black and white, brightness and contrast, posterize, vibrance, exposure, shadows and highlights, threshold, curves, channel mixer, gradient map, se selective color, color balance, invert, soft proof, LUT, lens filter, split toning, and OCIO. So there are a couple additions in there that aren't in Photoshop, and there are a couple things that are in Photoshop that carried over. Next, we have a layers tool, self explanatory. We have our effects which is very similar, I believe, to Photoshop. I don't think there's anything added or anything missing. That has a different name though is outline. Now this is basically a stroke if you're similar to Photoshop um, terminology. It's just stroke size stuff, your history, and you can move in positions like that. Uh, you have your filters, you have your blur, your sharpen, your sort, noise, detect, colors, all that stuff. Document size, you can resize everything from the canvas to separate things. Another thing that I want to bring up is that there is a wide variety of formats to import and export. So you can import um, Photoshop documents, any f document that is a photo format. So PNGs, JPEGs, you can do PDFs, you can do PSDs, you can do all of those photo formats. And I found that very helpful because with a Adobe, if you want to import certain things, you would need to get the NVIDIA plugin. Um, but with Affinity, you don't have to do it. I know for a fact that with Adobe, if you want to import DDS files, you did need the NVIDIA um, plugin, but for Affinity, you do not. And then when you're exporting stuff, this I found very, very helpful and very, very good. It appealed to me right away, and it was one of the reasons why I chose Affinity over Photoshop. You can export it as a PNG, JPEG, GIF. TIFF, PSD, PDF, SVG, VMF, EPS, EXR, or HDR. So there are quite a few more file formats you can export as, and um, quite a few that you can import as more than Photoshop. So I found that very helpful. Everything exports 
um, high quality like it does in Photoshop. You can obviously set the quality they want when you go to JPEG. You can go from 0 to 100. Same thing that you could do in Photoshop, except for I think it was like 1 to 12 in Photoshop. So that's really all I have to show you about Affinity. I didn't want to do like a review review, but this is just quick little things and features that really, really, really made me switch over from Adobe Photoshop to Affinity. And I've been running with Affinity for the past two or three weeks, and I don't think I'll ever go back to Photoshop unless, you know, a school project needs it or there's something that I can't quite do in Affinity that I need to go back into Photoshop for. But that literally has not come up in the past three weeks. I've never needed to go back into Photoshop to open anything or do anything. And it's just, we found the one, lovelies. We found the program for us and i'm just super happy so if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like comment and subscribe check me out on twitter twitch instagram and all of my other social medias to stay updated with all things channel related expect more graphic design videos coming to the channel and less sims videos coming to the channel really want to switch the direction of my channel and the videos that i'll be making so i love you guys so much see you lovely and i'll see you all in the next video bye everyone